Shay Sun, number one best-selling author. Shay, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm really good. <laughs> All right, I'm just so in shock, but I'm, I'm really good. Yes, thank you so yes. much. Yes, okay. Thank so, you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. So let's talk about this experience, you know? And um, well, I think I would say first starting with your book, you know, yes. what uh, prompted you to start writing a book first? Yeah, so I had a friend uh, who asked me this amazing question. She said, if you only had six months to live, what would you do? And one of the things I said to her was I would write, record, and videotape myself. And basically, I would just try to put as much wisdom that I've gained over the last 40 plus something years of my life um, and want to leave it, at, leave it for my kids and leave it for my former students and leave it for my former clients or the clients I couldn't have because I only had six months to live. <laughs> so that's the reason why. That's what really prompted it. Yeah. And then after that, just knowing the fact that I had other friends who uh, published books and I knew the fact that they had amazing messages to share. And then, of course, when you came into my life and you had said the fact that you did it yourself, I was like, oh, my gosh, Verna, Verna does it. I, I'm inspired that I can do this myself. And so, yeah. That's awesome, Shay. And tell everyone what your book is all about in the title of your book. Yeah. The name of my book is The Happy Solution. And it's really about unleashing your positive power, right? So it's like four simple steps to be able to help you feel unstuck and feel a little bit happier immediately. And so I've done a lot of coach training, a lot. And um, I basically just picked these little pieces and put them together in this little nice fusion. And it's really just to help people in the moment when they're stuck, when they maybe don't have an access to a coach, they don't have access to a therapist, so they don't have access to a best friend, just someone in their life, you know, just for those quick moments. And so it's really to help you have these little micro self coaching moments that can help you to, you know, not get so stuck on those little negative self sabotaging thoughts. That's amazing. And I cannot wait to read because I have purchased Shay's book and I cannot oh. wait. <laughs> Thank I you cannot for that. wait to, you know, to just get some of that wisdom, you know, because I think we all need that, right? I mean, happiness is like, I think that's what we are all searching for. I think is the source yes. of all of our desires. Everything that you're searching for, everywhere that we go, what we truly want is to be happy. So your yes. book goes right into it, right? We go around and around and around the block trying to find happiness. Now I want to do this because I think this is gonna make me happy, but and underneath it all, that's what we want. So um, it's great and I cannot wait to read it. So- Oh, thank you. Well, I think part of it is because I think I've gone through so many moments of unhappiness, right? I think unhappiness actually teaches a lot, uh, uh, teaches us a lot about happiness, right? So I think one of the things that, you know, people talk about even the entrepreneurial world is about um, pain and pleasure, right? Pain points and things like that. Uh, mm -hmm. But I wonder whether or not life is not just about, um, about, about pleasure making you happy. I'm thinking the fact that that happiness is actually a combination of two things. It's actually a combination of pleasure and peace because I don't think you can actually enjoy pleasure without peace and peace by itself without pleasure feels a little bit stale at sometimes. So I think it's a sweet spot between uh, pleasure and peace that happens in the midst of pain, right? Because pain is also reality as well. So then how then do you go navigating the pain in your life so you can still have access to that pleasure and peace in your relationship with yourself? Because honest, ultimately, I was thinking about how inner peace is my greatest value, right? And of course, we want harmony with other people. But how do you have harmony with other people when you do, when you don't have inner peace yourself, right? Right. And then right. and those and those are decisions, right? Happiness is a choice. And so then, how do you manage that choice as you go throughout the day, so that you don't fall victim to your own thoughts sometimes, right? How do you self empower? Yes. Yeah, how do you step That's into that power? Amazing. That's amazing. That's super powerful, right? That's super powerful. <laughs> That's great, Shay. So now everybody's going to be able to, you know, to read and, um, you know, Shay's book. And Shay became a bestseller. You know, his book became a bestseller overnight. Uh, so I want to talk about the, you know, the, this experience, the part of actually, you know, the process of, you know, getting your book there and um, launching your book, you know, doing the pre-launch of your book and then having this amazing community that supported you and, and everybody came together and and you now you are, you can say that you are a best-selling author forever, right? Amazing. That's great, that's a great. So 
So tell about that experience. Tell about, tell about, tell everybody about that. Yes. I think I th when I first, when you first introduced me to it, I was super excited. Actually, before the course even opened up, I went ahead and I started like writing and getting my ideas down and even created a book cover. That was my first draft. And, uh, and then, but then I think it was the day before our class, my world just started turning upside down. And even then I was like, I'm going to do this. And it was really challenging. It was really challenging. And if it wasn't for you, just being able to st sticking by my side and then also me seeing uh, my classmates and the fact that they were able to experience success, I think all of that gave me the motivation. But I really think the fact that you kicked my butt so much. And I think that honestly, <laughs> you're, you're determined, like you are the perfect example of a coach championing their client. And I thought that that really is what gave me the, okay, the fire, like you would, you would like, when is your uh, pre-launch date? When is that date? When are you doing this? Right. I think all of those conversations that you had with me just, you know, really, really had me. Sorry. I think the room would just walk into the room. I apologize, <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> but seriously, that's what it is. I think, you know what, the room is actually a perfect example of this. I think like you were the room, but that was like, if I had an excuse, you would just come and suck it up <laughs> and you'd be like, okay, let's get down to business. You have things to do. So I really think that you did that in my life. Oh, thank you, Shay. But you know, you're amazing. And, and, and for me, it's just like your message, you know, knowing that it's coming, the desire to write your book, it's coming from that, you know, um, the desire to help others, you know, and I think that's what makes so powerful. And I think that's one of the reasons that you you did so well in, you know, um, in with you with your book with the sales of your book. So that's, that's pretty incredible. No, but I appreciate that. And you're amazing. And I think the world needs you. I think the world needs, you know, to hear what you have to say. And I don't think there's any quicker, better way of doing that than a book because people can get into yeah. your brain in a second, right? I mean, it's like, yeah, right? So that's kind of a, such a such a great process. And and just knowing how, what a great accomplishment this is for you because, um, and I've said that during the, the book launch course, it's like 90% of people want to write a book. Like if you ask most people, yes. they'll say, you know, nine out of 10, they'll say, I want to write a book. But there's always that thing about, you know, when that's going to happen. And sometimes it never really happens because just, 0.01% of people actually publish a book. Yeah. You know, yeah. you not only published your book, but you published your book successfully because you yes. became a best-selling author. And, and this is one of the things, you know, that is going to really separate you from the crowd. There's so many mm -hmm. coaches out there, right? There's just a gazillion coaches, but just knowing that you have that for you now, you know, to, to add to the list of amazing things that, you know, that you provide to your your coaching clients yes yes no i i honestly think that there was a there was a a shift in my head and you provided the exact thing that i need to hear because in one of the assignments i had to create a hundred people that maybe it would be willing to support me but i was I, I i was probably on like hour two or three and i was like at i don't remember hundreds of people and you were like just create a facebook group create a facebook group and then I think when the numbers came in, I think there was like 255 people in that Facebook group. And they were people from like all over my life, like, you know, over four decades of life, basically all these mm -hmm. people from like elementary school to like churches that when I used to go to church, churches from like, you know, like former students, like all these people started popping up. And even last night when I was reaching out to people, like, oh, I'm so glad that we're in touch. So mm -hmm. I, I feel like the process was more than just even the book launch. It was all about connection, right? Because in the entrepreneurial world, we say that uh, connection is currency and your net worth, your net, net worth is your network. And just realizing just the power of human being and the, the, the support we have for each other, right? We're social emotional beings, right? We're, and so really feeling that last night, I felt really wealthy last night in terms of that and in terms of success in terms of my relationships with people and they really just unlocked that you actually unleashed a lot last night it was it was a very unusual experience <laughs> because that was like i think i worked for like i think initially i was gonna work for like 10 hours but i think it was on our like 14th hour or something like that because it, <laughs> it, it was i was gonna get i was gonna do 10 to 8 and it became 10 to 10 to 10 and then became 10 to 12 and I was like oh my god I was exhausted last night and I was telling you this morning that I honestly thought I messed up I went to go change the discount price it wouldn't allow me to do that and I honestly thought to myself 
I might have just messed this whole thing up. And I thought about you. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to disappoint Verna. And then I just thought, you know what? I got to focus on the people who purchased the book and I'm here for them. And that's what you had mentioned exactly. to me. So I think the fact that you just helped me to be able to process a lot of those thoughts. Yes, because when you're going through the process, I mean, there is the self-doubt. There is like, am I did that mess this up? You know, did I just, you know, there's so many things, but that's what I was saying, you know, just kind of like focus on the lives you're going to change with your book, yes. you know, with the hundred people that you already had in there. And yeah. and that's focus on facts because a lot of times, a lot of people are going to start giving suggestions and that kind of shakes your confidence, you know, uh, you know, so it's like, it, because you're part of this whole thing, but, and then you just have to stay focused on what, you know, stay focused yes. on the facts and just go with that, you know? But going back to what you just said, I thought it was really beautiful, you know, about the connections. And I think it happened to everybody who has launched, you know, it happened with me and it happened with the, you know, the other people who have launched before you and with you now sharing that is that we start to reconnect with people that, you know, and you just really have almost like a book unfolding in front of you or the book of your life. Even if your book has nothing to do with your life, right? It's just that it just comes all those things together. I'm like, oh my gosh, this person I haven't talked to in 20 years and now they're kind of reaching out and you're reconnecting and the power of that community, the power of human beings when they get together for a common goal. And I think we need more of that, you know, in the world. So you did this beautifully. You did beautifully. Oh, I was you. in your group. You did, you know, yes. so beautiful. And I knew you would too, you know? Um, so really, really, really excited. Are you? <laughs> well, thank you. I, I really appreciate it. You know what I felt like you were? I felt like you were like my Lamaze teacher. That's what I felt. I felt it was kind of well, like that. Birth to your well, birth. Yeah. Well, even though it's not like officially out yet, because this is one of the reasons I did this was for accountability purposes. So because I'm such a struggling, uh, recovering perfectionist, but really it felt like that. It was like, just breathe. Like literally you told me to breathe. Like talk about Lamas. I mean, of course you're the yoga instructor too, but like you literally told me to breathe. And there was moments where you actually heard like my, me take half breaths. And I think the fact that it does feel like a, an announcement, like I'm going to be having a baby and everyone's like, yay. Like, you know, I'm going to support you. And that's what it felt like. Literally. I had people were like, just tell me, I think one person even said that it was like a book baby daddy or something like that. He messaged me like a 10 or like 12 o'clock last, last night. And I, it feels that way. It feels different. Like I woke up feeling like, oh my God, I know maybe, you know what it was last night. Oh my gosh. Verna last night before bed, it felt like I had like, oh my gosh, did I, did the, did the pregnancy even take? That's what it felt like, right? Like, I you felt ain't like, delivering like, the baby, Shay. I, I, I know, I, exactly. But then I was questioning it. And then honestly, when I woke up and you, like, I was, I was so thirsty. I woke up this morning at five. And then when I saw your messages, I was like floored. I was like, oh my goodness. And then I was like, okay. I can breathe a little easier knowing the fact that all of this was true, right? That it was, that wasn't just a surreal thing in my mind, but it does, it really does feel like birthing. I write, people have said that before, right? Writing a book is like giving birth to a baby. And I did not know what that meant, but I think part of it, what it is, is an issue of identity. I think that it's an issue of being and doing, right? And I think the fact that our being reinforces our doing and our doing reinforces our being, right? And so I think what happened was just like when I adopted my children, right? When I adopted my daughter, like I saw myself differently, like suddenly I was a dad. So what do dads mm. do, right? And I think that's kind of what happened to me was like this morning, it wasn't, it, it, was, it was being a writer, but then having the label of, of, of bestseller, that is gonna take some time for me to adjust to and acclimate to as to what does that mean for me, right? What does that mean for my daily practice? And what my best practice in terms of getting my ideas done. And now the fact that I know there's an audience that's, ready and willing to share it right that i think is the the level of 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 an inspiration that i need and you mentioned this to me before right like in terms of momentum and things like that like i feel like the fact that you already knew my future before i even knew my future <laughs> <laughs> like you knew the gender of my baby before i knew the gender of my baby there you go <laughs> yeah that's the the little picture you sent to me in that little cartoon remember the little meme or something that you sent to me so yes, that's awesome, Shay. Thank well, you. Shay, this is this is great, and you know, um, I mean, it's been a pleasure helping you on this journey. And as I mentioned, so many people want to do it, and but they're so afraid of you know taking this step, and it's really fear, fear of the unknown, and fear yes. what to expect. They have no idea what to do it, how to do it, and all of that. But 
what would be, maybe if you just can give like, what would be the best advice for someone who wants to write a book and is kind of feeling on the fence or scared or don't, so, you know, they yeah, don't let say, that happen. I would say don't do it on your own. Don't do, hire Verna. That's what I, I live. Oh. The thing is I've already, <laughs> but I literally have said this to people out throughout the day yesterday when people were telling me, oh, I'm writing a book. They're like, oh, I want to write, write a book. Like even this morning, like 10 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago, I literally had like two or three conversations to other people about you. And I, and that this is not just because I'm on this interview with you. I truly believe this. Like, don't do it on your own. It's like, why go through the trouble of constantly having to adjust you know, and, and pivot and waste all that time when you can just have someone who's actually done it and then just hold your hand a little bit through it, you know? And so I think that was, that's what, what I'd say is like, regardless of whether or not you think you want to do it in the future, you know, a year, two years from now, even just knowing the fact that you can and the fact that even just setting a date in mind is, I mean, like right now, this is still like, right? Like I haven't written, it's not, this is a pre-launch. This was not the full launch yet. So I can only imagine what's going to be later on. But honestly, I would say, hi, Verna. That, I mean, there is no hands down. If you, it, I would say, if you want to self-publish, if you want to self-publish, then find, find you, not someone like you. Don't even do that. Why waste your time <laughs> looking for someone else? That's what I would say, right? Like I would say, if you want to find someone, you know, ask me for my experience, which I'm giving you right now, but if you need other questions, then I would totally direct them to, to, to what you have to offer. Because I think the fact that, it, I think sometimes all we need is, is just someone to, what is the wind beneath our wings or fanning the flame and things like that. And I think you're a great fan uh, whatever flame flame great, fa yeah banner <laughs> <Fan. laughs> yes exactly exactly uh, no really should, thank you thank Verna. you okay. no, thank you for your kind words that's just uh, no, you're so I mean kind that. you know it's been a pleasure working with you and uh, now what is next for Shay you know next um you know as far as you know Shay your coach right you have your coaching program so and people are going to read your book and be so excited about everything. Yes. But until the book comes out, they can hire you today, right? They can, yes, uh, yes, they can have yes. that expertise happening today because everybody needs that happiness. So yes. again, you know, um, and, and I say, you know, you just have different perspective every time you read the book. So, but right now, you know, people need you. So what do they need to do to, if they want to get in touch with you and see if it's a good fit, yeah. just get on a call with you. How, or how is your process? Yeah, just go to www.shaysun.com, S-H-A-Y-S-U-N, and there's my website there. Uh, you can go to contact me, send me your contact information, and book a call with me. That's probably the, the best thing to do. Um, later on, I'm, I am going to be working on, I've already finished my happiness quiz, and so, which is the four types of happiness, and I can give you also a taste of that as what I'm my process, because I, I believe the fact that that's what the book did for me. It actually allowed me to make sure the fact that I can have these little bite-sized moments that people can like get a taste of. And then once people get a taste, I think then it's just an issue of having experience. But I would say this though, and I think this is very true for all of us, because I saw this as a teacher when I taught middle school for 21 years. Uh, we, there is something about the learning curve and we all go through a time of dip, the dip, right? We can get really excited and go through a dip. And that, it happened with me in this experience as well. And I believe that true transformation takes place when you someone's there while you're going through that dip. So I believe the fact that when it comes to one-on-one -on -one coaching, when it comes to someone guiding you, ultimately that's always the, 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 the best way of doing it. In the future, I'll have like group programs and things like that as well. But I think the fact that for a lot of us, just having someone to be able to tailor what it is that we need to our specific uh, desires or our specific learning styles and the way that we communicate, or even our communication styles, I believe the fact that having the right fit is, is super important. It's almost like dating, right? It's like, you, because I've been on the speed datings after my divorce, not everyone that you date is going to be a match and that's okay. This is why I love making coach friends because I know the fact that if it doesn't sound a fit for me, then I might have a friend that it might be a match for, right? It's the mindset of, of abundance and that's what, how I feel, right? And that's how I feel. So yeah, but if you're a match and if it's like a soul client coach match, oh my God, I'm so, super excited. I mean, I, I'm super excited because I think it's a, it's a win-win, right? It's a win-win because I believe, believe the fact that, that my purpose really is to, to help others help others. I really want people who don't only want to help themselves and then have whatever that blessing is to, and hold it inside. I believe in the ripple effect, right? So for me, I would want those clients that, that, 
desire to be self-empowered so they can empower other people, right? That's mm -hmm. how, that's the way I think. And this is the reason why I love you. This is why you're such a beautiful human being is because this is where like energy attracts like energy. And this is the kind of heart that you have. And this is why I vibe with you so much, Verna. And so this oh, is the reason why I want, and this is your, our, my relationship. No, really my relationship with you in terms of the coach client relationship is the reason, it's just a reminder to me of why it's so important to have a like energy match. I think it's huge. No, it's, there, there's no doubt about it. No doubt about it. Like if, if Vern is a match for you, then, then you, you will have peace and pleasure knowing the fact that you, you can, you're, you're in good hands. That's how I feel. So your right. experience is happiness. Thank That's you. what I want to say. Thank so. you, Shay. Thank you, Shay. And you know, and I have to say that I have had the opportunity of being coached by Shay as well, because you know, Shay, at the end of one of our sessions, you know, I had something going on and we start talking. He's an amazing coach. And I can guarantee you that because we all need a coach because we don't know everything. We can't possibly know everything about everything, right? So, yes. um, you know, I had the opportunity of having a mini coaching session with Shay and he's amazing. So I would say, you know, get on a call with, with Shay, go to his website. They can, and they can also find you on Facebook, right? If that's easy, yes. just send you a, a private message on Facebook. Yes, uh, yes. And, and that's so easy to get in touch with Shay and just, you know, get on the call. If you are in search of, in that, of happiness and pursuit of happiness, definitely talk to Shay. He's an amazing coach as well. So Shay, thank you so much for this interview. It's so, uh, such a pleasure. <laughs> yes. And uh, so everybody else want to buy Shay's book, you can go to Amazon and underneath this video, let's go ahead and post uh, the link directly to Shay's book. And you can also read his author bio when you're there. He's amazing. And enjoy this amazing work that Shay put so much effort into it and it's coming, you know, uh, the final book is going to be delivered to you very soon. Yeah. Thank you. That's you yes. That's welcome. my desire is to do it sooner than later. <laughs> yes, exactly. And buy Verna's book too, Beyond Mindset. You got to do that too. I'm reading it. It's amazing. She tells her story. Right. So thank you, Verna. Thank All right. you. Thank okay. you. Okay.